Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be the gift that my friend June sent me from Ireland. Uh, she is the Suki Bab Swent here on YouTube. I'm going to put a link in the description box. And if you have not been subscribed to me for that long, um, June and I started off just subscribing to each other's channels and watching each other's videos and then over time um, she asked me if I wanted to do a swap and at first I wasn't crazy about the idea of doing a swap but then some more time went by and I kept watching her videos and I said to myself that might be fun I think I will do a swap with her so um, we did the swap and everything and then we did another swap and another swap and another swap and we wrote back and forth to each other and now we've been friends for quite a while now and um, so she sent me this unbelievable birthday present and um, this is going to be a long video as a matter of fact I'm looking at all this stuff in front of me I may even have to put it in two parts because I don't know if my camera is even going to be able to handle a video this long or how long it would take to upload it to YouTube so I may even have to put it in two parts but get yourself a cup of coffee or a nice tall cold drink or whatever it is that you like to drink take a bathroom break if you need to because <laughs> this is going to be unbelievable you just will not believe the amount of stuff that that June sent me and June, I'm sure you're watching, and I absolutely love everything, so no worries. <laughs> she was afraid I wasn't going to like some of the things, or she, you know, wanted me to like them and everything, but everything is absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. Um, just incredible. But just to give you guys a little sneak preview here, look at all this stuff. <laughs> Do you believe this? Oh, my God. June, I think this is the bir the best birthday present anyone has ever given me in my life, and I am dead serious. This is just amazing, overwhelming. <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> Regain my composure. <laughs> okay, so, uh, God, where do I start? Um... <laughs> Sorry, but this, I mean, it is, it's incredible that somebody would, you know, go to these lengths to send someone a gift. It's just, it's amazing. But anyways, um, so, all right, where do I start? Okay, first of all, um, I am madly in love with the magazine look that is published in the UK. And we don't have that magazine here, and we don't even have anything like that magazine here, because for those of you that are in the United States watching, watching this, this magazine, it covers makeup, fashion, and a little bit of celebrity gossip, but most of the magazine is pictures. And that's what I like about it, is because I can do research about these things in other areas but when I'm reading a magazine what I really want to see is the product so this is such a great concept for a magazine and it's been around for years and like I said we don't have anything like this in this country and I had looked into getting a subscription to it and it was like oh something crazy like five hundred dollars a year because it's a weekly magazine and of course mailing it to the United States from the UK of course it's going to be expensive so that's out of the question to take out that kind of a magazine subscription so um, she sent me four issues of it so I have a whole month's worth of look to read and this could not have come at a more perfect time because when I go on vacation not this coming week but the week after to Las Vegas the plane ride is five hours and then you have to get to the airport two hours before the departure date a departure time so it's uh, seven hours between the flight and just hanging around at the airport and then of course you got to do it again on the way back so that's 14 hours of travel time so I had already bought um, a book 
and um, a magazine specifically for that, but I knew that wasn't going to be enough. I mean, 14 hours. You could read a whole encyclopedia set probably in 14 hours. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so this is great because I've already put the magazines in my travel bag, and I'm going to take them with me and read them on the flight either to Las Vegas or back from Las Vegas. And I'm also going to bring a notebook and a pen. <laughs> And I'm going to take notes and make a, a, a wish list for me and June's next swap. <laughs> because this, this is one, another reason why I probably shouldn't be subscribed to this magazine. Because they show all this stuff that we can't get here. I mean, that tray of stuff that I just showed you. Um, the only things on this tray that we can get in this country is um, she sent me some essence stuff but it was a collection that never came here and then the other brand that she sent me that we can get here is Inglot. Oh my god I almost died when I saw a bag that said Inglot but even though we can get Inglot here there's only um, I think three Inglot stores in the whole United States and um, you know if you don't happen to live near one of those particular cities the United States is so huge that it's not like you can get in the car and drive to it you know so um, yeah so other than that though all the things that I'm going to show you are brands that we do not have here and we can't get here and um, so when I go through those magazines I'm going to take notes and write down you know, things that I really, really want, and then when we do a swap again sometime, uh, I'll already know. <laughs> oh yeah, the other, there was one more thing on the tray that is a brand that we can get here, and that is she sent me a sample that she got from Giorgio Armani. So let's start with that. Let's start with the sample she sent me. She sent me a sample from Giorgio Armani with three of the lipsticks. And it says uh, lasting, lasting satin lip color. So I'm looking forward to trying those once I can figure out how the heck to open this package and get the lipsticks out because this is plastic right here. That isn't the lipstick. So I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> but um, yeah, so um, let's see. Of course, there was a nice card in there. But yeah, samples. Um, she also sent me for samples something that I have never tried. Not only have I not tried these brands, I haven't tried this product even. Because again, we don't have these here. And that is BB creams. So of course I have been curious about BB creams. But everybody that has gotten them here in the United States has ordered them online and I can't order things online for the most part because I have some problems with things being shipped to my house because my home address is not the same as my mailing address and when you place an order a lot of times so many times you have to give them the address first then they tell you after the order is complete who the shipper carrier is going to be well, I don't know which address to give them because if it's the United States Post Office, I have to give them my mailing address. And if it's the U coming UPS or Federal Express, I have to give my physical house address. So I've run into problems before with things and, um, you know, where something would come and then it would have a note on it and says cannot be delivered because... Uh, of the address blah 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 so for all of those of you that are always telling me oh you can order that online blah 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 no I can't <laughs> I can't order things online because it's a problem anyway sorry oh god this is going to be such a long video um, but anyways um, yeah so she sent me some BB cream samples and she sent me these two appear to be the same this is uh, Misha ba BB cream. It's Signature Real Complete BB cream. So she gave me two of those. So I guess I can really, you know, test it out good. And then she sent me a couple of Skin 79 samples of BB creams. And these are both 
super BB cream, but one of them is VIP Gold Collection, and the other one, I guess, is just the regular super BB cream. So I'm really looking forward to playing around with those. Uh, okay, now, let's see. Um, I wrote some notes down here so that I wouldn't forget anything. Next, we're going to do these in order of brand alphabetically because there's so much stuff here that that's the easiest way for me to go through everything and make sure that I don't forget anything. So, starting at the beginning of the alphabet, we're going to start with Barbara Daly. And Barbara Daly is a brand of makeup that she buys at Tesco, which is a supermarket. Um, and I guess that's the only place you can get this. So she sent me uh, a single eyeshadow from Barbara Daly. And this is in the color Antique. And that's what it looks like. And no way can I do swatches of all these things. It would take forever. Um, so that's what it looks like. And how would I describe this? Um, I'm going to say it's gold. Yeah, it's gold. And then she sent me a highlight powder. And this is Light Illusion Powder Highlighter. So that looks interesting. And then the next brand is Beauty UK. And I don't have anything by Beauty UK. So this is going to be a new experience. And she sent me a couple lipsticks. And the colors are In the Buff. looks like that and you know what guys I some of these colors I'm just not very good at describing colors but I'm gonna say yellow based pink maybe on that one so I'll, I'll do my best <laughs> to describe them this one is called snob which is funny because Mac has a lipstick called this so I don't know if this is supposed to be their dupe for snob or what but color is Mm, not really the same, I guess. So I guess they just picked that name. But I really, I really like that. That's so pretty. So I can't wait to try those because, like I said, I don't have anything Beauty UK. So that'll be a new experience. And then she sent me some bourgeois. And let's see, the first thing is a nail polish and it says So Lack Ultra Shine. The color is... Um, blue Asphalt, and as you can tell by the name, it's a gray with a blue tone to it. And I really like that. I love bluish grays, so can't wait to try that. And then she sent me a bourgeois blush, and oh my god, this is so pretty. And this is in the color... Um, Let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's number 48, and it says... I'm going to try to pronounce this the best I can. It's in French. Sandre de Rose Brune. I'll, I'll put it like that so you can read it, because I probably did not pronounce that correctly. But you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me so much of a Chanel blush that I saw... Um, I was just looking at stuff at the Chanel counter one day, and I saw a blush very, very similar to this. And um, so I'm dying to try this because I, I just really like that color. Um, and then she sent me a couple of bourgeois eyeshadows. And the first one is, these don't have names, so this is just number eight. And this is like a champagne color, so that would be great for a highlight. And then the other one is number 14, and it's um, silvery gray. Very pretty. I love gray eyeshadow, so you can't go wrong with, with gray eyeshadow with me. And like I said, the other color is going to make a, a great highlight for any look, really. So that was Bourgeois, and then the next company is 
Catrice, and this is what she sent me the most of, I would say. So there's quite a bit of Catrice to show you. Okay, let's start with the lipsticks. There was a lipstick that June was raving about after she got it, and it's called Simply Rosewood, and it's the ultimate shine formula. This is the only thing that I have tried so far since I opened the package, and I just opened the package a short time ago. But I had to put this on, so I am wearing it, and um, I really like the formula of this. Wow, this is, as a matter of fact, this was felt so nice on my lips that I didn't even want to put a gloss over it. I mean, it just feels wonderful. So, I love it. You're right, June, this is a great one. And she also got me another color of that formula in one that she knows that I like purple lipsticks, and this one is called um, Most Violetta. And this is a really, really pretty purple violet. So that's great. And then she sent me a couple more Catrice lipsticks, but in a different formula. This is the Ultimate Color Formula. And she picked out Frozen Rose. And by the way, I didn't know, I had no idea what she was going to send me. I did ask her if she could please send me a Look magazine, but that's the only thing I knew I was getting. I didn't, uh, I didn't have any idea, so this was all totally a surprise. So anyways, um, fro yeah, Frozen, Frozen Rose, was it? Yeah. And this is like a peachy pink. So that's very pretty. And this is called Ginger and Fred. Perfect for fall and winter. This is like one of those, um, you know, Christmassy red lipsticks that, uh, right on trend. I said red lipsticks were going to be popular this year. So it's always good to have those because everybody loves wearing red lipstick on the holidays. Well, a lot of people I know do. And let's see, what else for Catrice? We've got a concealer. It's called Perfect Adapt Concealer. And this is one of those concealers that has the brush on it. Um, I've never used this kind before, you know, one of the brush type concealers. So that ought to be interesting. And then I think you just twist the bottom to make the product come out. So this should be very interesting. I'm really curious about this because the concealer palette that I love so much is um, Essence, but Essence and Catrice are owned by the same parent company. So I have very high hopes for this for covering my black circles. And then um, she sent me two lip liners. She sent me another nude rose because she knows I love this and it got discontinued. So now I have a backup. And then um, in the same formula, she sent me a soft fuchsia which is great because fuchsia I've noticed can really vary in color and um, so sometimes it's hard to get just the right match with a lip liner. So that's great. And then she sent me a Cole Kajal eyeliner in Cos Nova. And when I look at this, the first thing I think of is that paint pot that I just got in Pure Creation. I think this is the exact same color. So, great. Definitely think I can work with that with the Pure Creation Paint Pot. And let's see. Um, let's do nail polishes. This is still Catrice. Okay, this is Iron Mermaiden. And it's a duochrome. It's a purple and green duochrome looks a lot like a gosh nail polish that she sent me in a swap. So very pretty. This one is called Mona Lisa is staring back and this is like sort of like a beige with sparkles in it. Very subtle but very pretty. You know sometimes you just want something that's not like way out there. This is called Dirty Berry and this is such a gorgeous blue. I absolutely love it. Don't have anything like this, which seems impossible with my nail polish collection, but I don't. This is called San Francisco, 
and I'm going to say this is a gold, like a yellowy gold. So those are the nail polishes, and then she sent me quite a few Catrice eyeshadows. So there are some singles. This one is called the Violent Violet. How pretty is that? Oh, I just love it. This, this tone, you know, it's like that blue tone to it. Gorgeous. And then this one is... They call it I Like Lilac, but to me this is not a lilac color, but this is kind of like a, um, you know what, this actually looks quite a bit like the Half Wild paint pot that I just got from MAC. I'm going to have to get that out later and, and see, because I think this could be, could be a match for it. And then this is called Gilbert's Grapefruit, and it's like a, a pinky kind of a peachy pink color. And this one is called Heidi Plum. Really, really pretty plum color. And this one is a duo. It's called Once in a Blue Moon and it's a uh, silvery gray on one side and then a sparkly black on the other. So you could do like a smoky eye or you could just use this on the lid and then you could use this as a liner. A lot of possibilities there. And then this is a limited edition quad called Rumble in the Jungle. How pretty is that packaging right there? I really like the Catrice eyeshadow packaging. I just think it's very um, artistic and unique. And here's the eyeshadows. And if you really look closely, you can see that they some of them have a pattern on them. So up here is like a lime green type color. And then you have sort of a goldish color here. And then this is a purple. And then this is like um, sort of a olive green down in this corner. So there's, there's, a, there's a, a video right there <laughs> doing a look with all those eyeshadows. Okay, so I think that's it for the Catrice stuff. So next up is Collection 2000. And my friend Michelle's ears probably just perked right up because she loves Collection 2000. Um, let's see. This is a nail polish called Hot Looks Fast Dry in Fruit Salad. How pretty is that? This looks like it might be a nice toe color. I mean, I'd wear it on my nails too, like it maybe in the summer, but on my toes any time of year. <laughs> um, next is Essence, which everybody knows I love Essence, but oh my God, wait till you see what she got me. This was a limited edition collection from Essence that never came to the United States. And God knows I looked for it. I went to Ulta every single week month after month <laughs> because that's where they sell essence here and they just never brought it here and what it is is it's holographic nail polishes i had seen these on someone's blog and oh i was like so heartbroken that i couldn't get these and now thanks to june i've got three of them and again i did not know what she was going to send me so thank you so much june for sending me these polishes i can't believe i've got them uh, this one is called Blu-ray, and I don't know how well the holographic effect is going to show up in the bottle, but oh my god, these are going to look amazing on, and you will most definitely be seeing these in the nail polish project videos, I'm sure. <laughs> Prismatic white, this is just a white holographic, and this one is Gaga Electric. It's like a light, light purple. And I don't think I said the first one is sort of a cross between blue and purple. So I am ecstatic that I've got those. And then next is Gosh. And she sent me this um, eyeshadow quad by Gosh. Some of these products had security stickers on them. And when I peel the security sticker off, I lost part of the label because there was no way you could separate them. 
So I don't know what this is called because that's, I think that's where the name of the squad was printed is the place where I peeled off the security sticker. But I'll show you. So, so pretty. This is kind of a purpley color. And this is sort of a cross between blue and purple. A yellowy color down here and then a mauve right there. So looking forward to trying those. And then she also sent me a couple of gosh lip glosses and these don't have names. This one is number 75 and it's um, like a, a lighter shade of purple. This one is 58 and it's kind of a peachy pink, I'm going to say. So that's gosh. And then next is Inglot. And I, I couldn't even believe it when I saw an Inglot bag sitting there. There was this little Inglot bag. When I go to Vegas, I was planning on going to the Inglot store. And um, so now I already know what to expect because there were like certain colors that I wanted. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another one of these like what she sent me. This is a, a quad palette. And their palettes are like magnetized, very strong magnet, see? So it's, it's um, kind of hard to get the covers off and you have to be very careful because if it moves the wrong way, you could damage your eyeshadows. So what I had to do was I had to very carefully take the pans out of the palette because it the names weren't written anywhere. They were written on the back of the eyeshadows. So, oh my God, I was dying. I was so afraid that I was going to damage the eyeshadows. And then what I did was I took a silver Sharpie and I just wrote the name of the eyeshadows right on the palette. So it didn't come like this. I did this. So she sent me uh, matte 351. Is this one here. It's like a good highlight color. And then this one down here is matte 379, which is a blue tone. Absolutely gorgeous. I, I knew my camera was going to cut out. Let's, I don't have that much more, so let's try it. Up here is AMC Shine number 6, which is a gold. And then down here is DS191, which is a shimmery purple. Absolutely beautiful. Drop dead gorgeous. Can't wait to try these. So excited. Have wanted Inglot for such a long time. So thank you so much for this, June. That's really, really special. Next up is something that I've only heard June and Goss Makeup Artist talk about, and that is Makeup Atelier. She sent me two eyeshadows. This one is a mauve color, and it's called Brun Mauve. Very pretty. The other one is called, uh, I want to say Vert Foray. There it is right there. Not really sure how to say that one. This is uh, in French. And this is like a, a golden warm brown color. So Makeup Atelier. Wow. Um, <laughs> let's see. The next thing is from Seventeen, which is a brand from Boots. And let's see, where is it? Oh, here it is. This is called Nail Bar in a Bag. Isn't that cute? And what it's got in it is it's got nail art stickers, little hearts. It's got a little nail file, um, animal print, and it's got two nail polishes. This one is pink grapefruit. How pretty is that? And knockout red, which is right on trend. So. Those are great. I like I like 17 brand. I think it's amazing value because um, it's not expensive, but it's it's good. I have she when we did a swap one time, she sent me some of the eyeshadows. I like those too. Um, and then how many times have you heard me talk about Too True? 
I talk about their cheek and lip tint every single day. <laughs> she sent me a couple of their products. This is a nail polish in shade number 10. How pretty is that? Ugh, oh, gorgeous. It's like uh, lilac. And then she sent me a lip gloss and number this is number 16 it doesn't have a name and it's like a mauve so that is it that is a lot of stuff june thank you so much hon i just i love everything so much you have no idea how awesome this was for me to open this and go through all this stuff like i said before it's the best best birthday present I've ever gotten. Thank you so much. And um, I hope you all out there made it through this long video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.